What's up guys, it's a Boomy Guy here with Pokemon Septo Conquest Part 3, uh, Part 1, because, well, while I was recording, I, um, my computer was messed up, and it crashed, because I guess it overheated or something, and all the live audio that I normally had just went bye-bye. So... You know, for next seven minutes, I guess. I'm just gonna be watching me walk through the forest. And I don't know. It's kind of weird having me commentate over something that's supposed to be live. Me just trying to get through this forest. Um, I also found out that for Septo Conquest, you do, in fact, have to catch Pokemon. It is required for you to get through the game. And I guess I'll do that off screen. And then my Pokedex is gonna get updated a lot. So over here I actually find out that I'm supposed to go through here this way. I did not know that. So this force is full of Pokemon, which should actually be beneficial for you guys. Let's go ahead and check out. And I'm gonna go up this I keep getting random encounters, which gets really annoying. But you know, all in all, this ROM's really fun. And it's really interesting and right at the, like right near the trainer battle random encounter. That's just that's foul. I am Cookman, I will be the mightiest trainer in all the land. Prepare to be destroyed in a dramatic fashion. Wait! Yes. I recognize you. Did you fall off your bike? No. Shift the eyes. So yeah, this ROM's really it's fun. And it's funny. It's an interesting story. The only thing is I don't like the sprite. I wish maybe he put like a little more like work. I mean, I know he put work into it, but I mean like try and design it differently. You know? I don't know if he put it after himself or whatever. I've seen a lot of cooler looking sprites. And it's kind of messed up how my Pokemon are basically the highest level of the strongest Pokemon in this forest, which is a Silcoon level 10 might be a problem, so I might actually have to do even more off-screen training, more off-screen catching. Most of this game is just about off-screening stuff. I think the only thing I'm not off-screening is me progressing through, so I guess that's not bad. See right there, you suck. Until we meet again. I don't know. Then, I found this item before and I had to go get it. Some person suggested a name for Scarmaria, but and it sounds pretty good. I'm not gonna give his name. It's uh, if I can find it. Uh, I wrote it down on my phone. It's um, Sky Maiden. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. So if I can find like a name reader somewhere, then I would, you know, change it. Scarmaria. I don't know. And I found the secret key. I don't know what that's going to be used for. I think it has to do with the gym in the beginning town. I don't I don't know. I don't even know if you could actually activate cheats on this mom. I don't know. It's all a matter of time, waiting. Speed hacking through the forest. I didn't buy any repels. I have to buy Pokeballs. Because... I ran out catching that one awesome squirrel. So I'm gonna have to catch all this Pokemon in the forest, all the ones from the beginning round. Uh, it's just. It's hectic. This ROM is good, but a little bit hectic. Then, friend people. Really? I don't care. This is looking really good. Did I say you could talk to me? Yes, please refrain from telling me. Okay then. And then, see, I'm lucky I'm a good explorer. Ether. That's what I found. I found ether. And I don't know. The ROM person, whoever made it, what's with all these grass puzzles? In all honesty, random encounters are annoying in a Pokemon game as it is. You know, making. You can make a puzzle, but put a whole bunch of grass in one area so I know I only have to deal with that part. Don't mix up the grass, you know? I know it's supposed to be a puzzle, and you're punishing the person for messing up, but come on now. And then, 
he left this house normal. He just... Yeah, he left this house, like, completely normal. The same dialogue from Fire Red. Same stuff. That house is unchanged. But, that's the problem. Here, you know, talked about Flash. And then here, they talk about... See, right here. If you have 10 species, and I don't have 10 species. So, I know I'm gonna have to catch a lot of Pokemon. Now. And then here, I was... And we are back. Uh, sorry guys for the first half of the thing, you know, messed up, but now, you know, I fixed it, and now we're going back to our normal live commentary. Um, I'm gonna have to do a lot of catching off screen. Yeah. Not my cup of tea. Diglett's house, not sure if Gusta. Wait, Diglett's have a house? you later. Ah, oh, I got stuck. Ah, man. At least these Pokemon are basically from the route before, but then again, I have to go back and get that Charmander. So it's going to be a little mess. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck again. Alright, well, the Amaranth Fortress. Interesting fact. Nintendo now has a news channel. Alright, like the choice of music. I'll give you that. I'm at Museum of Science. Yes, yes, it's $50 for a child's ticket. Um, sure, but I guess I'll explore a little bit. Welcome to the Armament Museum. That's an Aerodactyl. Kabutops. Which I might get later. Okay, well... Charlie Super... Oh, okay, I was about to say, you guys didn't change nothing? Super Weapon Exhibit. Okay, see? It makes sense. One C. What? Oh no, the game crashed. And we're back at the Armament Fortress, but the game and the game crashed, so hey, at least I can go back here with no troubles. Okay, well, I mean, I, I don't know. Well, this has been an adventure. Uh, I'm going to visit Miss Nurse Joy because I'm feeling kind of lonely. Oh, that's nice. Before I even attempt to realize what this is supposed to be, I'm going to talk to these gamer kids. You suck e- Oh, okay, about to say crashing. 